very good evening to our first webinar episode uh, and we are starting with uh, women empowerment and women rights on me myself mom platform with none other than our very own member dr sharda chakraborty as you all know that uh, the yeah. theme for july is i speak on my rights uh, it is rightly said that a woman when she opens up and speaks on her rights it's not that she opens the door of empowerment for herself but she also opens the door for many other women we are not having that much guts to open up and speak about their own rights so here are the few bold women who open up who empower women and help them come out of the shell uh, today we are going to have a very very thorough discussion on uh, sexual harassment of women at home at work the posh act and we will get to know a lot of uh, valuable inputs from dr sharda uh, let me just give a very very uh, brief introduction dr sharda chakraborty has educated over 7000 students in 23 years in 2020 she prioritized her interest in public speaking she is a toastmaster international member and has spoken on various national and international platforms by conquering her stage fright she became an edupreneur a career counselor a personality development coach certified soft skill trainer posh trainer author aiaf resource person and a keynote speaker she is an author and has won various prestigious awards she is also the founder director of golden future career counseling and yes today she is with us with her inputs on the posh act and she will be addressing various um, uh, thoughts and various inputs on sexual harassment of women at workplace and the holistic measures for cultural change over to you dr sharda uh, thank you sharvari ma'am thank you so much for such beautiful introduction uh, today our topic is the women empowerment or when we talk about the women of substance and the woman should know about her own rights isn't it so beautiful to know about your own rights but it was not served to us on the platter we had to fight for that and first there were some constitutional laws like right of equality then there were some penal codes like 300 like section 354 of the indian penal code and so on but there came a very strong vishaka guidelines on which the posh act this purpose the purpose of this act is to save women or to protect women against harassment at workplace to provide her the dignity of life dignity and right to live be safe and work equal because we women are talented and we have all rights all rights to work in a workplace without fear of caste creed race color religion or any other form of discrimination the articles like 14 15 21 state the above for the for to protect women against any sexual violence which is the main objective of the act posh act which we call it in very short now before 1997 there was no as such law like we have it today the vishaka guidelines was a very important guideline which was used in india in cases of sexual harassment and it was let me tell you about the background pre 1997 the person who was facing sexual harassment at workplace had to lodge a complaint under section 354 of the indian penal code 1860 that uh, deals with the criminal assault of women to outrage women's modesty and section 509 that punishes an individual or individuals for using a word gesture or act intended to insult the modesty of a woman during 1990s rajasthan state government employed 
Bhavri Devi, who was actually against this child marriage. And it was her duty also as a worker of the Women Development Program. But the landlord of her area were very, very annoyed by this act of her preventing child marriages. And they, was, they were very, very angry on her. And they thought this low woman, lowly placed woman in the society has this much guts to stop the child marriage. And they decided to teach her a lesson and raped her repeatedly. The rape survivor did not get justice from the Rajasthan High Court and the rapists were allowed to go free. This enraged a woman's right group called Vishaka that filed a public interest litigation in the Supreme Court of India. This case brought to the attention of the Supreme Court of India the absence of domestic law occupying the field to formulate effective measures to check the evil of sexual harassment of wo working women at all workplaces. So this was a brief background of our today's law. And we are going to start with a beautiful presentation. Let me share the screen with you and start my today's presentation. So this is the protection of women's sexual harassment at workplace, which we call in short POSH Act 2013. So today's topic is this. So we should say we should stop unwelcome behavior towards gender diversity. And this is what is the POSH Act. So I, as I stated, there was some constitutional right, how this evolution of Prevention of Sexual Harassment Act started. It just started, we had only a few constitutional rights, then we had some Indian Penal Code, and then came the Vishakha Judgment. And this laid a very important stone for the Sposh Act 2013. The full form of this act is the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Prevention, Prohibition and Redress Act 2013 which is also referred as the POSH Act. And it came into existence in 2020, 2020 2013. And it was, uh, if I tell you about the date, it came into effect on 22nd April, 2013. And the, this act establishes a mechanism for dealing with sexual harassment and complaints in the workplace. When we talk about the workplace, what is a workplace? Workplace is any government-owned control establishment, private sector organization, sports like institute stadiums, training institution, hospitals, nursing home, vocational educational institution, and even your house, which is a dwelling place in case of domestic worker. And it is the workplace for our domestic workers and also the workplace also inclu includes arising out of the employment for example you are going to some other place for your for the employment and that any places visited by an employee is also a, work a workplace and who is an employee according to this act who is an employee who is the employee the management the one who is controlling, the one who is supervising, they are all employers. And what is the obligation of the employer? The obligation of the employer is to provide safe work environment, a grieved employee assistance. A grief means the one who has given a complaint, harassment treated as misconduct, of service rules, timely submission of report to DO, 
ICC, yes, this is an important, that is the grievance redressal mechanism. They should have internal committees. They should have assist inquiry, employ sens sensitization and ICC orientation. They all come under the employer's obligation. Who is an employee? If I talk about who is an employee, I have taught up talk about the workplace. I have talked about the employer. Then who is an employee? Regular, temporary, or ad hoc employees. Anyone who is in the provisionary period, apprentice, express employ, implied terms of employment directly through an agent or contractor, even with or without remuneration, voluntary. There are many people who work voluntary, so they are all call employee under the Posh Act. What is this act? This act is the protection of women from sexual harassment at workplace. The seek to protect women employees from unwelcome sexually determined behavior, whether directly or by implication. This bill covers women employees in the government as well as private sector. And this bill holds validity all over India. Yes, it's not only for one place or it will not be there in the other state. No, it's all over the all over India. This, what does the act outlaw? This one implied or overt promise of a preferential treatment in her employment. Like if somebody gives in the office or in, at, in a workplace, they give pro promise of a preferential treatment in her employment or they in over, over threat of determinal treatment in her employment if they are giving any threat. Like if you don't do this, if you don't uh, take our in any type of indecent behavior, you will not be, uh, you'll, uh, we will remove you from this office. So this one also, or threat about her present or future employment status. We have heard many times. If you don't take our, uh, this thing, if you don't take what we are saying, if you don't, if you don't obey even the indecent behavior, we will see that you don't even work in this office and you will not get job in any other office. I will see to that. There are many employers or the managerial post people. They often say, oh, we have heard, but now thanks to this Bosch Act, they are all included and they are treated very seriously. Conduct of any person which interferes with her work or creates an intimidating or offensive or hostile work environment for her. We have seen in workplace, ladies, women, they are harassed at their workplace. The place, they can't even, they don't want to work also, but we have, the women, we have so many obligations. We have to see our family. We have to run our family smoothly. And that, this is also very much seen by this law. Humiliating conduct, constituting health and safety problems for her, or physical contacts and advances. How does this bill define sexual harassment? A sexual harassment is a demand or request for sexual favors, sexually colored remarks, showing chronography, any other unwelcome physical, verbal, or nonverbal conduct of sexual nature. Even if they are not seen from their uh, from, from their mouth or they are not, but their gestures, their intentions, if the woman feels is not up to the mark, she can go for a complaint. What is the complainant entitled to the aggrieved woman, the woman who has complete? Every employer who heads an organization with more than 10 employees, remember, if they have an organization with more than 10 employees, it is required to set up an internal complaints committee, which is also headed by your woman. And for employers with less than 10 employees and other organizations do not, which do not fall on the above classification, a local complaint committee is set up in each city ward and rural area. And about, about this, 
there, there you can get this information on the net. Any complaint which is submitted to the committee in writing, yes, the aggrieved woman should give the complaint in writing and the inquiry must finish within 90 days of the complaint. Uh, before proceeding, I just want to show you a small video. Can you see the screen? This, yes, um, yes, we can see you okay. too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sound is gone again. एक ही दफ्तर में काम करते हैं भाई। ये तो होगा? मैंने देखा। उसके हाथ में खाने का डब्बा है। मैंने पूछ लिया। आइए। और साथ में लंच करते हैं। बस इतना सा तो बोला? कुछ बोला क्या? पहले बोला कि ये रंग काफी जच रहा है आप पे। फिर बोला। आइए। साथ में लंच करते हैं। मुझे कंफर्टेबल नहीं लग रहा था, पर मैंने उन्हें आराम से मना किया। मैं मनीषा के साथ लंच करती हूँ। शायद उनको बुरा लग गया। अब बुरा तो लगता ही है ना? ऐसा भी क्या? उससे तीन साल पहले से हूँ इस दफ्तर में। इस पर भी कोई चीज़ होती है। रिस्पेक्ट अपनी जगह। मैं समय पर अपना काम खत्म करती हूँ। सुबह टाइम पर आती हूँ। � और मैंने कुछ गलत थोड़ी कहा जाने लगी तो आपसे कहीं ज्यादा अच्छी दिखने वाली लड़कियां काम कर चुकी हैं साफ़ से तो ज्यादा दिमाग मत लगाइए ये किस तरह की बात है बात क्या है ना इस सर पे चढ़ जाते हैं अब लेडी समझ के हम इनको डांटते फटकारते नहीं तो इनको लगता ही है ज्यादा टॉप में और ऐसा क अरे स्पेटा जी और मैडम लोग भी हैं इस ऑफिस में हम लोग कई बार साथ में बैठ के लंच करते हैं इतना सोचिएगा मत इस बारे में इतना सा बोला तो मुंह बना लिया घूर के निकल गई वहाँ से मजाक भी नहीं कर सकते क्या मजाक के नाम पे कुछ भी बोलेंगे क्या मैं अभी इनसे बात करती अब स्पेटा वैसे इससे पहले कभी संतोष जी के बारे में ऐसा कुछ सुना तो नहीं है। हो सकता है तुझे ही गलत लग रहा हो। मेरा मतलब सोच ले। सब ठीक है ना? क्या सोच रहे हैं? जो हुआ वो गलत था या नहीं? गलती से था या नहीं या हुआ भी या नहीं सच तुम जानती हो सोचो मत स्मिता जी सब ठीक है ना ठीक तो नहीं है लेकिन हो जाए So with this small video, you can understand if any comment, any sexual uh, remark color, rem uh, sexually colored remarks on women, the woman can feel very uncomfortable. So this is actually the, um, these all these things are addressed in the Bosch Act 2013. If the charge of sexual harassment is proved by the investing, investigating committee, 
then the employer or district officer must upon their recommendations take action against the respondent the respondent is the person being complained against there are two words used one is respondent and one another is a grieved woman the grieved woman is the one who has complained and the respondent is a person being complained against and the and penalize them appropriately as per the organization's service rule or and second deduct a sum of compensation from the salary of the respondent this is to be paid to the aggrieved woman or her legal peers how is this compensation decided the compensation paid to the aggrieved woman is determined on the basis of the mental trauma pain suffering and emotional distress caused to the aggrieved woman the loss in the career opportunity due to the incident of sexual harassment medical expenses incurred by the victim for physical or psychiatric treatment the income and financial status of the respondent and feasibility of such payment in lump sum or installment every employer must provide a safe working environment display the order constituting the internal committee in a prominent places so that all employees can see that instructions everywhere and they should remember what to do and what not to do what are the duties of the employer regularly undertake workshop to sensitize the employer employees regarding the provision of this act provide necessary facilities to the internal committee or the local committee for dealing with the complaint and conducting inquiry every employer must also assist the secure in securing the attendance of respondent and witnesses before the investigating committee yes now this when the case goes to the icc the employer must see that the respondent and the witnesses who are there in that case they are coming regularly make relevant information about the complaint available to the committee provide assistance to the woman if she chooses to file a complaint under the indian penal code or any other law for the time being in force what if there are many times we have seen the women they are giving a false complaints so here there is also a provision for that if the complaint is false and now what action can be taken so the take uh, this the take uh, the committee takes action against the uh, the after the conclusion of the inquiry and if they say think they see that if the investigating committee concludes that the complaint is false it may recommend to the employer or the district officer to take action against the woman or the person who has made the complaint a mere inability to substantiate a complaint or provide adequate proof need not be treated as a false complaint sometimes as we know it is very difficult for uh, for a woman to give any proof so sometimes she is not able to give the adequate proof so this is not treated as a false complaint the malicious intent or falsehood on part of the complainant must be established after a proper inquiry before any action is recommended but there are too many challenges in sexual harassment investigation the women they are always uh, very scared to go for this these cases because she thinks that like her, con her she her confront con uh, like everybody will come to know what about that then uh, uncovering tangible evidence maintaining a chain of custody presenting unbiased result verification of facts human element and sensitiveness so she feels very uh, very very uh, what should i say very unsafe so many times the cases she does not even go and give complaint so the this legislation seeks to provide for a safe enabling 
environment to every woman, irrespective of her age or employment status, other than domestic worker working at home, free from all forms of sexual harassment by putting the onus of her safety of, on her employer and the proper legal authority. So before I finish, I want to show you one small video and with this we can end. You should always speak out and this beautiful video gives us that message. By the way, congratulations. Employee of the month twice in a row. Wow. Always knew you're the most hardworking employee of this company. But let me tell you one secret. Hard work is The break is always a break. down a lot. See in the office. Break Lena to Batana. What's in the This is the limit, Ashriya. You can't ignore him every time. Kya karo pair. Hey, sure. Just give me a uh, one. Yeah. Here, try these. They're really good. Thank you. I'm good. What? You don't like chocolate? I do, but uh, well then, have some. You deserve it. You won an award today. You did such a good job. I do. I saw everything. He can't go around the office pretending he's a massage therapist. I know, but I don't know what to do about it. Has he done this before? Yes. We can't let him get away with this, Shreya. Okay? To be honest, I would love to see him choke on his coffee. I feel like punching his stupid face. I just want him to die. Okay. I feel you. But unfortunately, we can't do those things. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Congratulations, okay? What are we going to do about him? Congratulations, sir. You are the harasser of the month. We should have received it years ago, but we failed to acknowledge your talent. Don't worry, it's a start. But maybe we can give him a dose of his own medicine. So with this, speak up whenever you see any harassment, any type of sexual harassment or the one which are not welcome behavior, speak up. Thank you. Thank you so much.